Hey guys, it's Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing part two of my acne journey and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on what skincare I use and what exactly it's for and where you can get it from, etc. So, the first, very first thing I do, I'm going to start off with my morning routine and then I'll go into night and then I'll show you guys masks and stuff. So, the first thing that I do in the morning is I don't wash my face with any face washes, with any oil control, anything like that. Because um, I just feel like if I put too much product in the morning, it can affect how my skin is later on. So I just wash it with a face cloth like this. This you can get from Dischem. Um, I think it's called like a beauty face cloth or something. It's very, very gentle on the skin. It also um, exfoliates in a really, really gentle way. In a sense where you don't have to use any, any like scrubs or anything so early in the morning. So this will gently exfoliate any dead skin from the previous night. So if you, especially if you're using a mask. Um, that will get rid of all the, the dead skin and all the extra dirt and oil. That you didn't wash off the previous night. <coughs> so I think I paid around 70 Rand for that. Super affordable, I use it every single morning and sometimes at night if I want to get off stubborn makeup. And if you don't have any makeup remover, that and water works like a charm. Um, it gently buffs away the makeup and it leaves your skin feeling so soft. Um, when, I had my, when I had my serious acne, I had a lot of texture on my face. Um, especially on my chin area and on my cheeks here where I had it the most. And um, when I first got it, I would gently um, exfoliate my face and the exfoliating actually helps so much with your scarring, your overall skin appearance and wrinkles and, as well because you, you, you're you buffing away that dirt layer and that dead skin layer that makes your skin look so dull. Like my skin was so dull when I had acne because I had this build up of dead skin, um, dead pimples and acne scars, all that stuff. And my dermatologist was like, don't exfoliate. And I was like, huh? What do you mean? Exfoliating helps get rid of all the dirt and stuff. And then when I just actually just completely distanced myself from my dermatologist's point of view, I started exfoliating and it was the best thing I ever did my whole entire life. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'll do in the morning. And then in the morning after I wash my face, I will moisturize my face with my super hydro gel. Um, I spoke about this in my very very favorite skincare video. I just love it because it's a gel and it goes into your skin like this. Um, because I do have oily skin, I hate having a greasy texture on my face. Um, my oily skin hasn't changed, which I'm okay with. Um, I don't expect it to change. Um, yeah, it just it just has a lot of good things in here, like um, seaweed extract, aloe, carrot, lavender all that good stuff and it can be used for pretty much anything because it is so soothing. I got this from a hill shop at Hillcrest but like I said if you if you can find something that's all not so as long as it has silver in it you'll be fine. Um, then if I'm going out into the sun I will use an SPF based moisturizer. This is the one <coughs> oh, I can't find it. Oh no I got it. This is the one that I got from my dermatologist and I still like it. It's also anti-brown spots so it helps in the aid of your scarring. This is the Uriage one. Um, yeah, I like it. It also has SPF in it so which is nice. Um, also it doesn't have flashback so that's good. Then, um, I will, if I'm putting on makeup during the day, I'll put my makeup on and then when I get home at night I will remove my makeup using my Garnier Skin um, Micellar Cleansing Water. Very, very nice, especially for eye makeup. It's oil free, so it won't harm your lashes, ladies, if you get lash extensions. Or if I'm in the shower and I've just completely forgotten to take off my makeup, I will take this guy on some water. Um, and then at night, I will double cleanse using my Gentle Jelly Cleanser from Kiki. Guys, this is the best cleanser. I have ever bought and this is my second bottle I'm obsessed it is it is exactly what it said it is I said this in my first skincare video it is super gentle on the skin it does not aggravate it does not sting it does not burn it does not it does not it doesn't hurt you like most cleansers do and it doesn't foam so it stays super um, nice on the skin um, it smells 
black rose water and I love this one, love rose water. Um, yeah, so Kiki should be having a Black Friday sale and this is when I got my first Kiki product was on their Black Friday sale. Um, love this stuff. Um, it lasts me about six months so even though I use it, I double cleanse twice at night, it lasts really long because you need so little. And then for my physical exfoliant, I will use my Kiki Radiance Powder Face Wash. This stuff is absolutely insane. I have not finished my first bottle and I've had it for over a year. Um, it's the Radiance Powder Face Wash. Again, I mentioned this in my first skincare video. And I've been using it like before I had acne, during I had acne, after I had acne. It is so nice um, because it's rouse powder and it has like vitamin E, C, B3, B5, B6. And it just has the most amazing smell and texture. And then when you wet it, it becomes a... Um, and it, so it goes from powder to a foam face wash. And the nice thing about this is that you can determine um, how much you want to exfoliate your face. So if you want to exfoliate a lot, you put more powder. If you want to exfoliate less, you can use less powder, more water. So super nice, also helps a lot with my texture. Um, it makes the skin so unbelievably soft and smooth. I freaking love this stuff um it retails i think just over 400 rand but guys when i tell you something is worth it and you know guys i am frugal i love a good deal and i really buy anything that is expensive but this is a freaking holy grail my mom uses it i love it everyone who has it loves it it's freaking insane and it lasts you i'm going on my my nearly a year having this you must buy it please <laughs> then after that I will tone my face and I only use this toner at night because um, this is the glycolic acid 7% toning solution um, this stuff is it's really good it did sting at first when I first got it but now my skin is so used to it um, I only use it at night because it's peeling solution so it takes away a bit of the layers of the skin which makes your skin more susceptible to sunburn. So I only use it at night and then if I'm going in the sun I must 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 have my sunblock or else you will burn a lot more than regularly. So I just take that on a cotton pad and I put it all over my face and let it dry. You must put it on absolutely dry skin. Don't do it straight after so I'll let your skin dry for like five minutes and then put that on. Then if I'm not using this and I want to do a mask type of vibe, I will take my ordinary AHA and BHA peeling solution. Now I think this is the main thing that has definitely lightened my scars because it is a peeling solution but I will warn you it is very drying. So in some parts of your face you find that a lot of places get dry, like for me it's definitely over here when I get dry but the rest of my face is fine. So when I do a peeling solution I do it here 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 but I just leave these parts out um, this is super nice you leave it on for 10 minutes it does burn I think it's definitely supposed to so I don't think <laughs> I don't think it's like supposed to be a soothing mask it's definitely um, quite potent I actually received these two in a giveaway and it was definitely meant to be because my skin has never been the same since I got it um, and also this is also sunburn alert please do not use this before you go in the sun always use it at night and make sure you wash it off after 10 minutes else it will start to actually burn your skin um so if persistent irritation occurs like if it's stinging way too much like it's unbearable or you're getting like reactions don't use it so i would um definitely do a do a test on your somewhere over here where it's not going to be super visible if it does affect you um love this stuff would definitely recommend um i'd never ever used the ordinary products before but I had my eye on them and then I won them. So I was like, guys, it's a freaking sign. So yeah, I wouldn't use these two on the same night. So if um, I would use this daily and then when I'm using this after a bath, I will not use this because it will be quite potent. So after this, I would nourish my skin with a very, very nice moisturizer such as this one. Or if you have a serum or anything like that, I would definitely um, not use these two together. <laughs> okay. And then to talk about some spot treatment, I'm going to talk to you guys um, about Benzac. 
Um, this stuff is amazing for spot you, but like I think I'll show you. I had a spot on from my period of there, and like overnight it dries the skin. Please do not use this as a full face. Don't use this on your full face. It is so potent. It's like bleach. It will bleach your skin. And it will bleach your clothes. So please. It's literally only meant to go on the head of the pimple. And that way it will um, completely dry it out. And sometimes it will even dry out the skin around it. So you need to make sure that you take precautionary action in that. So don't use this potent one before you're supposed to like go on a night out. Or wear heavy makeup. Because it will cling to the dry patches. So use this on a night where. Like in the middle of the week. Where you know you don't have plans. And just spot control the shit out of your skin. This will literally fix it overnight, unless it's very, very stubborn. I had one or two stubborn ones, but majority of the time, this bad boy works. You can get it from, I think, from Kalex. It usually comes in a Benzac acne kit, but I don't really use the kit too much because it burns like a mother, and I don't want to do that to my skin. I say that after I use the ordinary peeling solution, but this stuff is amazing. Um, I This is still my first tube, but little goes along because you're only really spot treatmenting. Um, but yeah. See how it goes. If it works for you, that's great. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. It definitely works for me. Um, it's literally benzoyl peroxide. So it's like basically hair dye. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys um, will take a little bit from this video. And if you guys have any more in-depth questions about the video or the products that I've mentioned please let me know and then next week I'll be doing a part three on my vegetarian diets and all that jazz and if you guys have any questions again please let me know down below I'll be happy to assist you um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye